What's going on Workforce? Brian here and today we're talking about quality life adjustments that we hope to see in Shadowbringers. It's mind-boggling just to see what all has changed over the last two years and with Stormblood alone. I mean, if you guys are new to the channel or you're new to the game, there was a time where you literally had to use macros or you had to rearrange your hop bars or your cross hop bars if you're like me and playing on a controller when you went into a level sinking dungeon, especially if you level sink, you know, way down to like Sestasha levels, <laughs> you know, uh, dungeons. And it was, um, you know, it, it's just what you had to do. And that's, that's so far removed. It's like <laughs> days gone by. Remember the past when uh, I was there when we had to walk up both hills, both ways in the snow, you know, kind, of, kind of stories here. And it got me thinking like, what do we want to see with Shadowbringers? A new expansion brings obviously, you know, new content, but it, the devs have continued to support the game both from a quality of life perspective and then from just a HUD perspective. The HUD in Stormblood got to be, I mean, it was, it's so strong. It's so much more powerful than it's ever been in before. And it gives us so much more control over our, our layout and how we manage the whole game. It, it's just, it's really quite impressive. In fact, even patch 4.1 was labeled Storm HUD because of just the sheer amount of changes and features they brought into the game. And a lot of that can be obviously attributed to them kind of saying and raising the minimum PC requirements and saying goodbye to the PS3 support. Uh, but obviously with, uh, you know, Shadowbringers, we're going to see uh, the bare minimum being 64 bit for this game. And so it, anyway, there's a lot they can do. Um, but at the same time, like I'm curious as to what you guys want to see, like, what are your most important aspects? And so I kind of compiled a list of a couple things that that I want to see with uh, Shadowbringers. Um, this is kind of focused obviously around kind of battle and the overall uh, just UI, being able to do different things within the game. Um, uh, this is not content related. So this is just to overall improve the experience and kind of there is a focus on helping out others. Now, um, I want to know what you guys are thinking and what we did is we created a, a thread over on the official forums where these are posted and so uh, I'll include the link in the description or the top comment or something uh, down below. Uh, if you guys can and are interested, you want to go share your thoughts as well over there so the devs have that, that, that feedback. But also I'm curious in the comments below like what you guys are thinking, what you want to see because there's like in my mind, I think at some point like the, the game's going to have like, <laughs> it's going to be like have everything that it's ever you could ever want in a game. I don't know what day that that happens, but for my my list, I found uh, I, I thought it was incredibly short. And who knows? Maybe when these things like if these things get addressed, like maybe all of a sudden it's like oh, and now I would I would like to see this and it, that whatever is next. I'm just not thinking about because I'm focusing on these. But anyway, like I said, I love to know your thoughts uh, below. Um, if you if you like these kind of videos, if you're new here to the channel, we hope you hit that like button. We hope you hit that subscribe button. Uh, and come back uh, each and every week because we <laughs> we post a lot of videos. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about uh, what it means. Like, what do we want to see for quality life and Shadowbringers? So I think, uh, like I said, there is a <laughs> there is the focus on how we how we play together. But um, this is also in no specific order. In fact, you could almost think that the first two things I'm going to tell you are I would things I want first. But <laughs> beyond that. Um, Chris mentioned this and I actually was thinking about it and people have mentioned it on the official forms is a repair all button. Now you can repair all within whatever category like your equipment, what you currently have equipment or like your inventory or your, you know, things like that by various piece. But they're actually saying just let me hit repair all and any piece of gear that I've ever had ever gets repaired. And like, yeah, I'd like to know, obviously you have, you'd have that option in case you didn't want to use it. You'd still have the current option, but to have that repair all, I thought it was interesting. I thought like, yeah, like I typically, you know, have to go category by category and a repair all would save me like, uh, you know, not a lot of time, like in comparison, but over the course of you know, like playing this game for, you know, 10 years, almost, you know, nine years at least. Uh, it, it's just, it's, yeah, that would be, that'd be huge. The other thing I would think is a, um, kind of a pass all, like if you guys are ever in, <laughs> in, uh, in the Alliance Roulette and you're like, oh, all this gear is just falling to the floor. I have to pass, 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 or I just don't roll on it. And every, and the, the downside of not rolling is I will always personally worry that somebody actually needs that piece of gear. And they're just like, come on guys, pass on this piece of gear. But to be able to say like, ah, uh, you know, pass off, you know, I, I'd also like to be interested in a roll all. And if you guys, anybody here ever played um, <laughs> I, I, uh, Warhammer online, 
it was an interesting thing that they had auto roll rules that you could set up. You're like, I want to roll on anything that's better that I can equip like automatically, or, you know, you could kind of set up all these rules. That's well way beyond what I'm thinking for this game. Just a simple start as a, as a pass all on the loot rolls. Now those were just a couple of things that kind of came up. And so I think for me, um, the, like the number one thing that, that comes up in my mind is the ability to track your, your challenge log, your achievements, and even your hunts, like those bills in the UI, like you do a quest right now to be able to kind of show that progress. Now your hunts do report in your chat log a status update on, you know, like one of two or one of three. Um, so that is something that's nice and it would be at a minimum, like even if they didn't add these things to the UI or at least gave you the option to choose whether you want to, you know, track them in the UI or not, to be able to have it say, hey, this has been updated. Especially like when you think of your, like your Eureka challenges, like, oh, 30 of 60, you know, like where am I? So you don't have to keep pulling up your challenge log or your achievement log to kind of track whatever, you know, whatever you're specifically working on in that case. And so that's kind of, that's kind of just, I think something really, really would be really handy because it is so nice to see that as a part of a quest. And basically this would be kind of like, you could take anything that the game is offering you and turn it into a quest because it really is. It just happens to be kind of that weekly quest that resets. Like I, I even think about this from the crafting perspective, like craft 30 items, like, or gather 30 items. Like, okay, cool. Like as you're progressing through that challenge, uh, you, you can track it and that way you're getting that kind of feedback. So I, I don't know. I'd love to know what you guys think about that. And uh, my number my number two in this case would be uh, level sync on demand. I've called it open world level sync. Sometimes people uh, you know get confused like by it. They're like, oh, we've got that in the form of fates. And I was like, I, I agree with you. Um, but whenever we're helping out like our friends, like whenever, let's say if my, my brother decided to come back in the game, I either have to go create a new character or I have to follow him around outside of his party. And that ends up being a little bit uh, inconvenient uh, sometimes. So like not a huge like game changing change like in my mind, but it's something that it's still like, oh, let's play together. Imagine if like I didn't have, if I ne needed XP on any job, um, then it could literally just be like, okay, great. I'm gonna go level that. And if I'm level 20 and he's level 10, I'm not gonna siphon off his XP. The best example of this would have been when Blue Mage dropped, uh, we were at a different level range. And so we ended up just power leveling each other up um, as a part of that process, which kind of evened us out. Uh, it would have been nice though, just to be able to say, great, we're all level 20. Great, we're all level 30. Oh, you're coming in now. We're all gonna drop down to level 10. We're getting experience and we have the ability to learn skills and things like that. So I think it would have been extremely helpful in that situation. And I think it could still continue to be extremely helpful, especially as new jobs and new things are inter introduced to it that you know keep us in sync without having to be specifically fate driven or specifically dungeon driven or content driven in that case where, anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm very pro open world level sync or level sync on demand. If you guys are uh, new and you don't know how that necessarily works, uh, if you look at um, you know Final Fantasy XI as, the, as the, the best example of it is that the party leader gets to say, hey, we're gonna sync to, to Brian and Brian's level 15. If somebody was level 10, they would not become a level 15 player. They would stay at a level 10, but everybody who was above level 15 would be treated like a level 15 uh, player. And so from an XP perspective as a group, nobody is, is hurting it. And we see that in Eureka, but this is kind of beyond Eureka. This is just as the game as a whole would exist, et cetera. So who knows if we'll see that at some point, but I'm, I'm personally hoping that, you know, Shadowbringers brings, brings it in <laughs> at some point. In that same vein, in that same helping people, uh, you know, out. Like that, that's where I see the level sync, you know, perspective because I've got, you know, when somebody comes and joins the game, like, hey, let's let's group up, let's play together. Um, I think that's essentially where that comes in. The other side of that coin is that I would also, my number three would be to see um, what quests they're working on, even at a minimum, just to see the quest names, but I would love to see kind of their like objectives, their progress, uh, what they need to what they need to kill. Because imagine if we're level synced and we're running around, then I know, okay, we need to attack these guys or we need to go to you know this specific area. And as a as in this case, my mind a Sherpa, somebody who's guiding them along, um, <laughs> in the past, I've had to say, can you text me a picture of what you're seeing? Because you know, if they're new to the game, they might not be familiar with the UI. They might not be familiar with this. And despite like my best efforts of like, hey, this is what um, we're doing. And one of the reasons why we got into making guides on YouTube is to help 
new players kind of get into this game, um, it ends up being that like, yeah, like I've literally asked somebody for a screenshot so I could see <laughs> like, oh, okay, I see that you're on this quest because, you know, they couldn't figure it out because they were new. And then after that, once I got the screenshot, I was like, oh, this is what you're looking for. And you never had to ask for it again. And that's where that comes in. It's like, I don't think I want like quest rewards or anything. I just want to be able to see like, oh, I see that they're on this main quest. We need to go to Limsa Lamenza. We need to go talk to this guy. And then that's how you're going to, that's how we'll, we'll progress from here. I still think they should initiate any kind of NPC dialogue, obviously. Um, but <laughs> that, that's where that falls. Um, number, uh, I think it was number three. So I guess number four in this case kind of also relates to that. Like whenever they go do a single player fight, um, right now you have to drop party. And I think it would be so helpful to not have that happen. And what I mean by that is that uh, ideally, like what I really want is to be able to go do that fight with them. And I'm wondering if New Game Plus kind of has that aspect to it. We're gonna learn more about that here in just a few weeks. But, you know, and New Game Plus is just like this question. I'm like, well, how is this gonna work? And what, it, and anyway. <laughs> the um, But as far as it goes, like being able to kind of say, hey, like they're in this fight at a minimum, they don't, you know, we don't have to keep dropping party and, and, and getting back together. And this is not that important. It only becomes actually a thing whenever there's a content drop, whenever we're running like, oh, hey, the new patch, let's run the story. Oh, there's an instance fight. Okay, we got a drop. Oh, there's a dungeon. Let's get back together. So it just ends up with saving us <laughs> a lot of time getting together, dropping the party, as opposed to just saying, oh, it's an instance fight. Okay, hey, I see that you're still in that instance. Okay, cool. And then you're, you know, kind of cheering them on or, or something like that. I think very minor. I, I don't know the technology behind it. Like I know it took them a long time for the chocobos to not have you not have to drop your chocobo to go do that kind of stuff. Um, so like if it is expensive in terms of development, then absolutely, you know, like now nah, it's not that important. But if based off of what they've already done in the game, that could be a huge asset, I think, to players. Uh, and then finally, <laughs> if you're ever a healer, this is for my healing, my, my healing controller buddies out there. Like I, I heal on controller and um, whenever you go into these, these instance fights, you end up getting, kind of getting teamed up with other like NPC party members. And I'm wondering how that's going to, if this, if, you know, obviously the, the trust system will have an impact on this at all. But whenever you get teamed up with them, um, for me, like I run my filters so that whenever like I'm in battle, I cycle through my party members list like by hitting the up and down on, on the D-pad. Like, you know, party member, party member, enemy, 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 enemy um, on the left and the right side for that. And so whenever you go into those content, that content, um, that doesn't work because nobody's in that party list. So I'd love to see these NPCs moved into that that control so that as a healer, I it works just like if they were like real players uh, as well. Now, um, the, the way I get around it is I have to change my targeting filters and thankfully the game allows me to do that, which is really handy. Uh, but at the end of the day, I like, <laughs> it would just be really, really awesome to do that. Cause like, even when you have your chocobo, even, um, like as, even as a summoner, your pets there, so you can cycle and, and target those. It just, whenever you go into these things, you can't target alpha. No, you can't target your, N your NPC allies unless you change your targeting filters. And it is a little bit different. And so from kind of training and teaching the game, like if that's your first experience with anybody in your party, um, you know, I see, I easily see why the people are asking me like, how are you, how are you filtering? Like, like when I try to target an enemy, I just keep cycling through everything out there. And it's like the game gives you a lot of power. And then with, when that one thing happens, and again, not a high priority because there's not, I'm not in instance fights all the time. It only really happens when there is a content update when there is an expansion. And so it's, you know, obviously not incredibly important, but that's why it's quality of life. That's why I think it would add to the overall game experience. And especially with New Game Plus, and especially with the trust system, maybe those things are gonna be addressed. Maybe those things are gonna trickle in uh, and <laughs> and go from there. I hear <laughs> the parade of, of toys outside <laughs> outside my, my, my door now. Um, those are my thoughts. Those are kind of the things that I want to see. I think obviously the big ones would be the challenge log and um, you know tracking those those um, those pro that progress and uh, and obviously level sync. Those are things that I want so badly in this game, but maybe I'm just crazy. Either way, let me know. Let me know what you guys think. What you're feeling in the comments below. I look forward to having that conversation with you. For work to game, my name is Brian. I hope you have a fantastic day. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We hope you stick around for more uh, <laughs> uh, Final Fantasy content, uh, Anthem content, Borderlands. Who knows, man? March 28th. It's going to be sweet. Cannot wait to see what they do with that um, WoW content. Like we, we talk about a lot about a lot of RPGs here. So anyway. <laughs> 
Uh, thank you guys so much uh, for watching. Hope you have a terrific day and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Hey guys, it's me, Brian. Uh, thanks so much for watching this video. If you're new here, we hope you hit that subscribe button. Check us out. We talk a lot about video games and we hope to at least hear from you in the comments below. We also try to respond to our comments. You know, we really appreciate the comments, the discussion, all the various points of view that everybody is so kindly, uh, I guess, and politely or impolitely shares with us from time to time. So anyway, guys, again, uh, thanks for watching this video. We hope you hit that like button. We hope you hit that subscribe button. Come back for more content each and every day. Uh, we post a lot around here and we'd love to hear from you about what you like about video games and everything. And uh, especially if you have any questions that you're stuck on in anything. So anyway, signing off. <laughs> See you next time.